At a time when Android tablets are anything but exciting, it is always a breath of fresh air when a company gets one right. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is our review of the Huawei MediaPad M3. Last time I went crazy over an Android tablet was the second generation Nexus 7, and that was years ago. Still, if the rumors of its successor continue to point to a Huawei 7P, the simple idea of this MediaPad M3 being the inspiration is actually a great idea. MediaPad was the perfect choice for its name. I spent the last few weeks using it to consume content, and the experience has been delightful. It starts with its 8.4-inch 2K display that dwarfs the iPad Mini in pixel density, saturation, and viewing angles. It then continues with the dual 1-watt Hi-Fi speakers and the AKM Hi-Fi chip that's powering them under Harman Kardon branding. Sure, this is not the first tablet being backed by a famous audio brand, but these speakers are not playing around. This came with the benefit of being around to chat with local reporters. So far, this is the loudest and deepest audio experience that I've ever had with an Android tablet, even with the speakers not being front-firing. For hours, but enough... Powering media consumption is the 60 nanometer octa-core Kirin 950 chip matched with 4 gigs of RAM and a 5100 milliamp hour battery that's rated for 11 hours of video playback. The result, a very powerful tablet that's perfectly sized for graphics-intensive games and watching a movie on the fly. The feel in the hand also plays a major role. Huawei's choice of mimicking the Nexus 6P's design with the aluminum finish doesn't only seem futuristic, but feels great in the hand. Then there are the cool features like the eye protection mode that warms the display for all of us night owls, and also the fingerprint scanner that includes gestures from the glory webOS days for quick navigation. There are either 32 or 64 gigs of expandable storage for your choice of media, and our review unit not only includes LTE capability, but it also mimics a smartphone thanks to a dialer application included, and you'll notice that apps like WhatsApp work on it, which were really only blocked for smartphones. About the only thing to complain about here is EMUI, where it continues to be Huawei's choice of approach for Android 6.0 Marshmallow. The experience is an acquired taste that I mainly enjoy for its notification shade, but which quickly made me switch to the Google Now launcher after the second day. And then there are the cameras that won't go beyond being useful for document scanning or video, but then again, that's not necessarily bad as you shouldn't be that guy that takes photos with a tablet, right? And about everything else, this is a great Android tablet. Huawei has outdone itself with an amazing build quality, great performance, one of the best displays I've seen on a tablet, and so far the best speakers on an Android device, period. The price tag is probably a little too steep, starting at $399 in certain markets, where iPad minis can be found for less. Still, if you're invested in the Android ecosystem, this is an experience that I highly recommend, and one I wish would extend to the Nexus tablet future, or Google Pixel future, whatever it's going to be called. Friends, this is just one of many reviews for the hottest products of the year, so make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocket now, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.